If you're continuously recreating the same task within Craft, we now have a simpler and easier way for you to do this. With Craft's new repeating tasks feature, you can automate your routines, stay organized, and focus on what matters. In this video, we'll walk you through how you can set up your repeating tasks that actually keep you on track. So let's dive in. For our first example, let's start with a simple task, like planning meals for the week. Here, I've already created the task, and let's set this to repeat every Sunday. First, you'll want to double click into the task and select schedule. From here, you can select the date. So let's set it for the 30th this Sunday. And navigating back into the date, you can select the repeat option. From here, let's select weekly. And now it'll repeat every Sunday. You can take this a step further and click into your task where you can add recipes, grocery lists, and any other inspirational items related to your task. Now, let's talk about staying on top of your work meetings. For example, monthly client follow-ups. Whether you're freelancing, consulting, or running your own business, staying in touch with multiple clients can be tough. Crafts repeating tasks can help you maintain healthy client relationships. Let's create a new task, and let's set this to repeat monthly. So we'll click on schedule, we'll select our date first, say April 3rd, and we'll select the repeat option for monthly. Now it'll repeat on the third day of every month. And as an additional tip, you can also set a reminder, say for next Thursday at 9 a.m., but you can also customize this reminder to a different time. Hit create, and there's our monthly repeating task. You can also add extra details into the tasks, such as your contacts or notes related to the tasks for easy context, this way, you won't have to remember everything manually. Now, let's talk reporting. Reporting doesn't have to sneak up on you every quarter. You can use repeating tasks to schedule reminders for quarterly reports or any project milestone. Let's create a new task for preparing a quarterly report and we'll set this task to repeat every three months, but relative to completion. So let's go over what that means. First, let's go into our schedule and select the repeat option. From here, you can customize your repeat. And in the dropdown, let's select relative to completion. What this means is that when you complete the task, it will be repeated to the occurrence that you've set. So in this case, we want our task to repeat three months from the point that I've checked it off, rather than three months from a specific date. We'll select Confirm and hit Create. And here we go. Now we've set a repeating task relative to completion. Again, you can add links, templates, and notes into your task so that the future you is always ready to go. And finally, for our last example, let's focus on personal goals. Say you go to the gym or attend a yoga class three times a week. Let's create a new task for some physical activity. And we'll set this to repeat three times a week, but non-consecutively on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. So we'll select the repeat option and we'll select custom. We'll do a weekly option and we'll select the specific days of the week. So Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. We can select the time that we want for our reminder, say 9.15, and confirm. Hit create, and that's it. Now we've set up our physical activity to repeat on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. Repeating tasks in craft can help you automate your workflow, simplify your routines, and make space for what really matters. Try it out today and let your task list work for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more craft tips. Happy crafting!